Welcome to our quest. Let's also try out our senior that he thinks. And remember, the PTSA fundraiser can be an easy chance for you to obtain NOS tickets. What's that? And against the Heat when they are down 24 points. All of this and much more. In just a flash. Nice. We have more than seven flavors. Get yours on Friday. Only three dollars. Welcome back and now to the news. Students lined up this week to get their spring picture snap. Some were excited while others had reservations. Live in 5 reporter Melissa Gray has that story. Hey Ted's Love, I'm Melissa Gray reporting for the Live in 5 show at Picture Day. Today is the day where you guys get to dress up in your best and smile for the camera. Let's see how you guys took the shots. And what about you? What period do you have to eat? March 2nd was a successful day for picture taking. Students Day, came to school dressed best while others who forgot came in their regular school clothes. Either way, students looked fantastic as they posed in the white picket fence. Are you excited today's picture day? Yes, I'm very excited. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm kind of an organized person, so I have all my cards and see all my cards all in a row here. It takes a lot of organization because we, we, we take the uh, per student, one minute. Imagine 70 kids, they're, they're done in like a half an hour. Was today a fun day to take sure, or do you wish they had it on another day? I guess today. Good day. Uh, same here. Good day. I prefer Fridays. Do you think students should buy more pics? Well, of course. Keep me employed. <laughs> did you guys remember today was picture day, or did you realize this morning when you got to school? No one told me it was okay. I remembered. I remembered. I forgot. I remembered. No, he's okay. Turn your face a little. He's got a jacket out. Big smile. Looking awesome, dude. Say, I look awesome. Picture day was a success. Everybody looked amazing. Hope you guys buy your pictures, because you guys read it if you don't. I'm Melissa Gray reporting for the Live in Five show. Hey, Melissa. Flyers were sent home last week offering your parents ad space in the yearbook. And the yearbook advised with free regrets to inform you that all ad space has been sold out. So if your parents had planned to purchase a congratulatory ad for you in the yearbook, they'll have to wait for next year. However, yearbook are still available for purchase. It's just the advertising space that's been sold out. So if you still want to buy a yearbook, you can do so in the studio store in room 205. Mark your calendar, Trojans. The Tetsoff girls basketball and the girls or the boys soccer team will be playing against Haskell's Mustangs next Wednesday. They will be playing on our home field and the game will start at 3. The CGSF applications are due today. The CGSF fall members need to reapply. Again, the application is due today and the CGSF fall members need to reapply. International Society members, you must return your applications and dues today. That's right, they're due today. New members, go pick up an application in room 307. PTSA is holding a fundraiser to upgrade the Tetsoff Auditorium. They want to purchase a new sound equipment, an LCD projector, and more. Please remind your parents about the fundraiser and return any donations you in the envelope provided to Mrs. Stowie in the front office by next Monday, March 7th. The top fundraising student will receive free, free Nosprey Farm tickets. The top fundraising homeroom will win a pizza party. Remember to give your parents and flyer, the flyer donation envelope. 
This, this month is March, and that means the annual Tets Off Talent Show. This is a big chance for you Trojans to show off your move, moves and be the center of the stage. The talent show tryouts are next Tuesday, March 8th, after school in the auditorium. You and your friends can also share the spotlight together. Your talents are welcome to join as long as you, you will share it with your fellow Trojans. The dress rehearsal will be on March 15th, after school in the auditorium, and your family can cheer for you on March 16th. March, on March 17th, the whole school will be in assembly to watch you perform. Please remember that students on the non-activity list will not be allowed to try out for the show. Any questions? Go see Ms. Lopez in room 300. And now, taking a look at the Tets Off calendar. Today is a minimum day college Friday. The International Society and CJSF applications are due, and Italian ice is being sold after school. Next week, from Tuesday to Thursday, the science department is selling ice cream after school. Monday, the PTSA fundraiser is due. Thursday is the science club, the talent show tryout, and the PTSA meeting at Oh, Tuesday is at 6.30. Wednesday is Spirit Day, and finally, after school, Friday is a minimum day, college Friday, and Italian ice is being sold after school. And that wraps up the ongoing events. Now let's go to the other. Good morning, Victoria. Let's take a look at the Friday forecast. It's going to be cloudy today through Sunday. Well, Monday is going to be raining and continuing on Tuesday is going to be clearing up with a couple of clouds. It's going to be 71 degrees today. Well, it's going to get lower um, next week. Let's bring it over to Dion with the wet pool. Good morning, everybody. I'm Dion Thomas. Today we have Kershen for our guest. Good morning, Kershen. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. That's good. Well, will you please read this week's wet pool? Should test off get rid of the non-activity list? How do you feel about the non-activity list being removed? I think it shouldn't because the people who are on the non-activity list deserve to be punished. Um, I think it being removed is kind of a good thing. Yes, I really like it because um, people who do bad things should get a punishment. Well, I don't think it should be removed because those people that have done bad lately, they deserve to serve the consequences. Why is that? Because having the non-activity list kind of just the kids won't care and they'll just stay on it. We use the non-activity list um, for those students who are not meeting their grades, doing what they need to do. If they can't get grades, passing grades in their classes, then they shouldn't be participating in extra things like dances and athletics. So yes, I think the non-activity list should be there. Because the people who are on the non-activity list deserve to be punished. All right, do you think they should be punished for something severe or just a little something bad? Severe. I think it should be for people who have done something like severe. Okay, so even if they do something uh, not that bad, do you think they should be punished? Yes, because they deserve what's coming to them. Uh, not necessarily. Kids will do bad things no matter what. Putting them on the list won't change anything. It's not a punishment. It's an opportunity for them to bring the grades up. The grades need to be priority. That's the most important part in being at school. Once they're at school, if their grades are doing well, by all means, we want you to have fun. And go. I don't like the non-activity list, but also I think it should stay on there for kids that really do deserve to be on the non-activity list. Here are the results for the past week's web poll. 46% of you guys said yes, 46% of you guys said no, and 8% of you guys said it doesn't matter. Well. Uh, we want to hear from you. Be sure to visit us online at liveandfivshow.com to vote. Send your comments to webpoll.liveandfivshow.com, and if it's good, we'll read it on the air. So, Kirshen, what do you think of the new question? Should backpacks be allowed in the PE locker room? Mm, well, I think that they shouldn't need to because if they're responsible enough, they won't need it, and if they forget any stuff, that's their fault. Well, I would like to give a shout out to Christian and my best friend, Justin. And 
Th thank you, Christian. You're welcome, Dion. That's all my time for today. Back to you, Jimmy. Thank you, Dion. It's now time to swing into action with the Lime 5 Sports Report with Aaron. Good morning, Anna. How are you doing? Good morning, Jimmy. Good. From the North Coast to South Coast and everything in between, this is Lime 5 Sports. I'm Aaron. Down by 24 points in the third quarter, the Magic went for an unbelievable run of 40 to 9 over the next 15 minutes, stunning the Heat 99 to 96. That's the second largest comeback in our Lionsville franchise history and matching the second biggest in. Jason with 24 points for Orlando. Epic turn when they were down 24 points and they caught up. Um, they went into a huge deficit and then started to lead 89 to 82. Although LeBron James scored 29 points and Dwayne Wade had 28, they combined for three for 13 in the second half. Miami is now two games behind Boston Celtics for their best record in the Eastern Conference. So I guess Boston's doing pretty good. And before I go, I'd like to give a shout out to Color Guard who performed great yesterday. That's it for today, folks. Back to you, Jimmy. Thank you, Aaron. That's how you sounded. Okay, it's time to test knowledge today's Daily 401. <laughs> what is the only bird that can fly but can't walk? Swallow, blue jay, woodpecker, or the hummingbird? Take five. I am going to the blue jay. No, I'm going to the blue jay. Wait, didn't we do this yesterday? No, we did which one can fly back. Oh. But yes, Aaron, Color Guard did do that yesterday. Are you in Color Guard? You're in Color Guard. Yeah, I was in oh, Color Guard. I performed like... yesterday. So thank you, Aaron. I love your sports script. <laughs> so. Yeah. Okay. I want to be a sports person one day. Okay. <laughs> it's time. Oh. Thank you. Uh, visit our website to watch today's broadcast online at live and five show.com and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. That's the end of today's show. We'll see you back here on Monday morning. <laughs> Something about